Hello and welcome to Amy and Joe. I'm Amy. And I'm Joe. We are Keep Indiana Learning Digital Learning Coaches. Today we are doing a series of videos. This is the first on 30 time saving tips that come from Apple's Apple Teacher for the iPad. Today's tip is screen recording on the iPads. So before we get started into the how to's and some examples, let's talk about why we would even want to screen record and why it's a really valuable tool. So one thing is it's very simple to use for both students and teachers. Um, it's, and Amy's gonna share with you how to get that going on your iPad. Um, it allows students and teachers to be able to record demos. So if students need to record maybe some fluency work to uh, you know, share with their teacher later, or maybe they wanna explain a math problem that they've worked through um, for later use so that a, you know, a teacher can understand the process. Um, teachers could record a demo lesson, such as um, a mini lesson, or maybe it's application based, you know, based on one of the apps in the, on the iPad. And also in today's world, recording a, a lesson for future use is really important, whether it be for a substitute in the classroom or for a student that's not in attendance that day. And it's really great that it uploads to the camera roll. And so it's right there on the, um, the iPad, good for um, easy transferring to your LMS or any other application on the iPad. Absolutely. You know, to get started, first we have to know where is your control center? It is accessed in two different places. One, you could find it in your settings. Two, you can swipe down from the top right corner of your iPad screen and find it there. Let's listen to one of our first graders to see how she accesses her control center. Okay. This is my control center. How do you get your control center? I swipe down from the top of my iPad. Nice job, from the top right corner. Another, another way to get to my control system is settings. Good, how do you get to your settings? You tap right here. I get off my iPad. And then I go to settings. Good. And then you can see in the left side, it says control center. Mm -hmm. On the right side, here are all the different controls that you can add or take away from your control center. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Awesome. Now that you know where your control center is, and you may have seen a couple different tips and tricks that the control center is made up of, let's just focus on the screen recording. Back to that settings gear. You're going to see in the control center section, the ability to add features to your control center. So once again, we're in that settings gear. We're gonna find screen recording and press that little plus sign to add it. Let's hear from another student on seeing this in action. First, you're gonna tap on settings, then you're gonna go to the control center, then you're gonna scroll down till you find screen recording, then you're gonna tap the plus, and then it should turn up up there. Okay, how do you check to see um, if it's in your control center? I mean, I know we can see it right there, but where else can we check? You can swipe down and that circle with another circle and colored in uh, there too. Nice. Awesome. I love watching our students teach us how to do things, right? Okay. Now that we know where our control center is, now that we know how to add screen recording, it's there. You don't have to do this every time. It's not going anywhere, but we probably want to use it, right, Joe? For sure, yes. So let's hear from a third student on what on screen recording in action, how they use it. What are the tips and tricks? Because I believe I remember something about the microphone with audio. And then while you're recording, how do you stop recording? We'll wait to hear from our student to see. So how do we actually use screen recording? How do we start it? If you scroll down, if you tap it, then it'll 
automatically record. Oh, just but, tap the button, it just automatically starts recording? Yeah, but if you hold down, it'll give you the chance. Oh yeah, hold it down so we can see the chance to speak. Nice. Okay, so microphone has to be turned on and then we want to ensure we know where we're saving it to, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. How do we start recording again? You press start recording. Awesome, and then wait for the countdown. Three, two, one, nice job. Awesome. So as you probably saw from our student, that when you swipe down, you find that screen recording button. I'll give you a hint. It looks like a solid circle with another circle right around it. When you tap it, you can tap it or you can just tap and hold. You'll find the audio settings are different. When you're done, then you can see that um, red status bar at the top. Or some of my students just swipe down from the control center again and just stop it right there. Either way, the one place you're probably wanting to know is where does it go? And know that just like Joe mentioned, the screen recording is saved to your photo library. It is there. It's waiting and it can be shared however you best need. Yeah, this is a great tip. It's a great one to start out with, Amy. Um, we plan to make all 30 of them in short little video clips for you to be able to enjoy, to use at your leisure time. And they'll all be posted on the Keep Indiana Learning YouTube channel. Thank you so much. We are so grateful that you spent this time with us and can't wait to share more tips and tricks with you. Until next time, here's goodbye from Amy 